Hey guys, this is Abby Bliss White with Bliss Holistic Health and I was asked to share a few of my favorite beauty products and so I was going to share um, some of my favorites that I've been using lately. Um, so I love all things beauty and I love to experiment and such but I do have some of my absolute favorites. Um, so because it's been summer, I have been wanting to make sure that I'm wearing my SPF and the one that I've been using on my face lately has been the Skin SkinCeuticals SPF 50. This is a physical fusion UV defense. Anyhow, this is one that I absolutely love. The other one that I love, and I'll link that below, is my Beauty Counter Protect All. Um, that has an SPF 30. So during the summer, I like to give myself just a little extra layer. Um, and to all my lovely young ladies out there, um, one of the best um, beauty tips I can give you is to wear your SPF. Um, when I was younger, I was always trying to get tan. And um, dare I say, I even, um, had gone into a tanning booth before I know horrible <laughs> so anyways I am paying the consequences now um, you know my hyperpigmentation and sun damage is coming out and I wish that I would have um, used SPF um, and not tried to spend all those years trying to get tan when my skin doesn't really like to tan um, so anyways this SPF is awesome because it's just a thin layer and I'm just going to give you a little, show you a little bit on my hand here. Um, as you can see, it's got a universal tint. It is very thin, kind of watery, and it sinks right into your skin. Um, and I just look, like the way that it feels because I really um, hate having things that feel claustrophobic on my skin. And I absolutely have been loving that one. Um, just for reference, the SkinCeuticals, um, kind of a dermatologist brand. Um, and so uh, that's where I actually got mine. So I really have been enjoying this this summer. And then after I use that, um, I like to come in with my tint skin. So my tint skin, this is Beauty Counters Tint Skin, and this is part of my um, giveaway. So if you have not entered for that yet, you need to. Um, I, again, I will link the giveaway below so you can do that. But um, Tint Skin is a wonderful little foundation. This basically um, blurs. Um, I'm not trying to say imperfections, but it blurs any wrinkles, has hyaluronic acid, and it's just a really easy to put on, um, a quick little slick, and I, again, this is something that doesn't feel really, um, it doesn't feel like a bunch of makeup on your skin. So I just love this guy, and I like to apply it two different ways. Um, as part of the giveaway, someone's also going to be getting this lovely Artiste, not this one, a new one, but the Artiste Oval 8 is one of my absolute favorite brushes. Oh, I just love it. It looks like a hairbrush. Super soft. And the reason I like it is, is that it really gets uh, blends in your makeup so you look pretty flawless. It doesn't have um, any telltale um, makeup lines. Again, we don't want that. But love, love, love this. And so I just take a little bit of my tint skin, dab it around my face, and then use this really quickly to rub it in. And I love it. The other thing that I feel like everybody should have is a beauty blender. So if you have not purchased one of these guys, you can get these at Sephora, I think Nordstrom, Macy's. You can get them a lot of different places. But um, I absolutely love these. And it is, you just dampen it. And then this is another way you can put on your tint skin is you can just dab it in. Um, again, I love this sky and it's great for underneath the eyes. So speaking of underneath the eyes, um, need, I'll need a little teeny bit of help underneath the eyes just for um, a little darkness and um, kind of lightening it up. And one of my favorite products, if I can find it in here, here it is, is Beauty Counters Touch Up Skin Concealer Pen. 
Um, so if you are a fan of Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clay, um, this basically is a clean version of that and it comes in a little brush um, and then you just do the pen and then just slick this on. I just put a little bit underneath my eyes, um, kind of around any of the areas that are darker or any sort of something that I want to conceal. Um, but this is so awesome and it's basically kind of gives a little brightness underneath your eyes. It does not crease and go into your wrinkles. <laughs> um, I never wanted to wear concealer because um, I just always had images of um, some older ladies wearing a lot of concealer to cover up their bags, but then it actually emphasized their wrinkles. And this does not do that. Honestly, it's a lovely formulation. And again, if you're a fan of the Touche Clay, um, then you will love this. And this is a clean version, meaning there's no toxins in here. It's actually good for your skin. Um, again, this is a plus so love that and I actually like to apply that with my beauty blender so I like to dab it on with the brush and then I like to take this little guy and then um, just lightly um, you get it lightly <laughs> blend it out um, so anyways this is an amazing tool definitely want to get one. Oh, let me see what's next some of the things that oh I'm going to mention one thing that I'm a little bit excited about um, that I'm going to do another video on, but I received um, from Hourglass this new Vanish um, foundation, which is really cool. The packaging is outstanding, and this guy comes in a little triangle, and it's supposed to be seamless foundation. It has a, enough pigmentation. Um, almost like a concealer and you guys it is pretty cool it's creamy like butter um, and then they also sent me this awesome brush so I love brushes but this is supposed to um, just to be used along with this foundation and I have tried it once and I have to say I was like whoa I, I really um, like this I'm gonna do a whole tutorial on this uh, I will give you a little demonstration but for heavier coverage days I think this is going to be amazing if I have a special event um, and I was kind of worried about the color but I will um, that they sent me but it looks like it's gonna work I'm in the shade nude um, but kind of excited um, hourglass is another great brand um, it is also relatively clean not everything in the line is but but um, they try to make sure there's no parabens, phthalates, um, all of the good stuff. But this is another one um, that I'm going to be trying out that I'm excited about. Okay, so next things next, speaking of Hourglass, um, I love their ambient light powders. I'm not a big powder girl, again. Um, as you get up there in age, I just find that powders kind of sink into my wrinkles and fine lines. But um, this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette is amazing um, for just a dusting and to kind of give you a little glow. So there's different colors in here, um, dim light, incandescent light, radiant light. And I have the little brush that goes with it and I just like to just take a little bit like that um, and then I will put it on just usually through the T-zone um, and this just gives kind of a little um, glow with when, <laughs> from within. Um, so I've been liking that just to kind of set everything, set my makeup. Um, that's been kind of fun and it gives you just a nice thing. So again, any of the powders that I would use, um, I'm not going to use any mattifying because my skin is more dry, dehydrated, aging, and um, this is one that does not do anything. I think it actually improves my skin tone. So love that product. Um, let me see what else is in here. Okay, um, favorite bronzer. So I am kind of old school. I have been using um, Bobbi Brown's um, medium bronzer for absolute years and I can't seem to give it up. I have tried so many different brands. Um, but I always have to go back to this guy. So this one is in the shade medium. It's just a matte um, bronzer and I just love this as a throwback 
to the old days. I don't know if you guys remember, but Bobbi Brown was all the rage in the 80s. Um, I think she still is. Fabulous line, all that kind of stuff. But um, this is just one of those products that I go back to time and again. And I don't know how many of these I've had throughout um, <laughs> since I was probably, oh, I want to say 16 years old. But anyhow, I use that along with her bronzer brush. Um, and I just take a little sweep of it. And then I just like to put a little bit of color right through just wherever the sun is going to hit. Um, and then also like to go down the jawline because I um, want to disguise any double chins. We don't like double chins. But anyways, this one is just works for me and my skin tone. I think that's the problem with bronzers, especially if you have fair skin. Um, some of them can look orangey and some of them can look kind of uh, muddy looking and for some reason this guy just works for me and I actually am in the shade medium despite having kind of light to medium skin uh, this one just looks the best so old throwback love it um let's see what else we've got in here oh okay so this summer my daughter and I went to LA to beauty con and um, they have an Anastasia Beverly Hills where you can get your brows waxed and such. And they had the Modern Renaissance palette. And you guys, this one, I would have never thought that I would want to purchase it, but um, it is absolutely gorgeous. So you can see it has some really unique and interesting colors in it. Um, I admit, I'm pretty much not using a whole lot of this <laughs> They are the most buttery pigmented shadows I've ever um, experienced and I have to say I really like them. So my favorite color in here is raw sienna and the burnt orange and I'm just going to swatch these guys because you guys they are so pretty. Um, so let me see. Do you see how it's just a really lovely kind of earthy color and they are so pigmented and a little go. Okay, next thing we have. Okay, oh yeah. So one of the things, um, I had gotten some headshots done for my business and one of the things that I bought um, or one of the things that she used on me was this Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector. Um, so you guys, this is a highlighter. I'm all new to all the whole highlight thing. Um, but you just place a little bit of this on the high points of your face. She just used it and honestly, it just made my skin look super healthy and good. Um, let's see if I can find my beauty blender. So anyways, I just use a teeny little bit um, and you just put it kind of right on the high points of your cheekbones going to use a beauty blender here um, but anyways it gives you a nice little glow but every time I wear this I always get compliments and I so I was like well I'm gonna have to use this I'm gonna use just a little I didn't put any this isn't something I use on a daily basis again this would probably be more of a um, special event but um, I absolutely love this you can also put it down the bridge of your nose give you a little highlight um, but it's just the color I got is moonstone and I absolutely love that so special events I think this is super pretty and this is the Becca shimmering um, skin perfector in moonstone she said this is the my makeup artist who's amazing by the way Cassandra Kennedy so if you are here in Portland and you need to get your hair and makeup done she's amazing but she was the one who told me this is a must-have makes your skin look healthy <laughs> even if you don't have it. okay love that okay so one of my favorites um, I'm not a huge lip girl don't have huge lips but I do like to give a little bit of color um, but for hydration for my lips I'm in love with the Tata Harper um, what are these called um, this one's fierce be fierce but these are her little lip treatments and you guys oh, I can't tell you it's so amazing um, and just creamy wonderful hydrates your lips I mean this is my daily go-to I love Tata Harper products um, beautiful skincare line 100% um, organic kind of 
your son um pricey <laughs> So, oh, if I had more money, I love all her stuff. But anyways, this is one of my favorites. Um, it's just, it gives a nice go-to gloss love. So now for other lip products that I absolutely love are beauty counters, lip shears, and their lip glosses. Um, I honestly fell in love with the brand, um, kind of because of the tint skin and these guys. Um, these little lip guys, these little lip shears, they're really sheer, but so pretty. They have such great, um, adds a little pop to your lips, but uh, feel wonderful on the skin. And these are clean too. So just FYI, generally women who wear lipstick are eating about seven pounds of lipstick a year, which I thought was incredible. Um, again, I'm not a huge lipstick girl, um, but for those who of you that are you are ingesting your lip products so you do kind of want to make sure that they are clean and um beauty counters are completely clean the formulation feels fabulous on your lips it's not drying very moisturizing and the color selection is fabulous and you can definitely go a few of my favorites are the more deep shades because they have pigmentation but again they're sheer so I love the um, Current is my kind of go-to. I love Plum. Um, this summer they came out with Terra, which is an amazing kind of your go-to, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, go-to shade. It is so great. I just love Terra. So um, these guys feel wonderful on the lips. And then I also love their lip glosses. Um, such pretty shades, you guys. My favorites are Dahlia came out, which is just a really nice kind of peony pink, which is so um, pretty. I love their buff, which is your nude, really pretty nude. Um, and then their Sienna. This looks dark, but it's so pretty on the lips. And again, kind of a going out kind of shade because you know I'm a party animal and I'm always partying <laughs> going out late at night. No, but actually I do have to say, um, now that my husband is a lawyer, we're having more events to go to. So I am having, um, I'm having a little bit of trouble because normally I'm always wearing my jeans and t-shirts or my gym clothes, but we've been having to get dressed up and go to some events, which has been fun. And um, so I kind of feeling more adult. So love these products, Beauty Counter, and I will link those, but um, these are definitely worth a try. You feel lovely on the lips, not drying. Um, the lip gloss is not too gloppy. Like I love the look of lip gloss, but I kind of hate the way it feels, but this one doesn't feel like that. I'm gonna just do one quick swatch. Has a dough applicator, and then, oh, uh, so pretty, you guys. It's just a nice sheer, smells yummy, like kind of like a little hint of vanilla. Um, okay, last but not least, I have been experimenting with the Shantakai um, Longest Lash Lashes. So this again is a pricey product, but I am to the age where if there's anything that's going to have health benefits or skin benefits, I'm going to use it. And this one is a lash growth mascara. So it's loaded with peptides and it's meant to help you grow your lashes. So I admit I kind of want to go and get those lash extensions, but the upkeep of it just seems, um, I have a hard enough time keeping up with my gray hair. <laughs> um, so adding on another kind of something where I would be having to do appointments would be rough. Um, so anyways, um, Shanta Kai, the longest lashes um, with the peptides is supposed to be helping grow your lashes. I have tried some of the um, lash growth along Latisse. There was another one, Revitalash or maybe, I don't know. Anyways, some of those ones, but it irritates my eyes. It was um, always making my eyes watery. I feel like I was just, um, you know, watering off anything I was doing. So I'm giving this a try. I actually love the formulation of the mascara. I think it's fabulous um, as far as volume and curling. And I will let you know. I will do an update on this one to let you know, but I had to give it a try because I think anything that's gonna help me grow my lashes, I will give it a try. Okay, I think that is it for now. And thank you so much for watching. But again, I, 
play and experiment and I will be sharing um, oh I will be doing the hourglass I'll show you how that looks on the skin very soon and um, comment below and let me know if you want to see any um, other videos thank you